So let's begin our real estate project from scratch, from fresh Laravel. And the first milestone will be to create cities in our real estate project and ability for admin user to edit those cities. So add a new city, edit and delete. But let's begin with Laravel new Lara estate. That's what I've called the project. And we wait for new Laravel application to install. Okay, we got it installed. Now Lara estate. We put env file configuration. So database name will be Lara estate. I already set it up in uh, in my Laravel homestead. So the URL will be Lara estate dot test. Uh, and now we can run migration. Let's try to run migration. Migrations come with fresh Laravel, so two tables, users and password resets. And let's refresh the browser for Laravel state test. It was an error because there was nothing there. But if we refresh, we should have fresh Laravel instance. So that's great milestone number one. Milestone number two would be generate user auth. So make auth. Uh, generate login and register links. If we refresh the page now, we should see login and register. And let's try to register the admin user. Admin, admin com, password, and we should be able to log in and see our menu item. Next step would be to create the city's CRUD, so-called CRUD, which stands for create, read, update, and delete. So there will be a new menu item cities, which will have a table and then a form to add or edit the cities. And first, let's take care of the database structure. So we will generate a model, artisan make model city. And with that, there are a few useful flags to generate something with models. So minus M is migration, minus C is controller, and that controller should be resourceful as in uh, CRUD base, so index, uh, store, method, create, method, and all of that. So let's do all of those, and that one command will generate everything we need. Then in the model, which should be generated by now, we have, we have city, and let's put in the fillables. That's probably the first thing I actually do, because uh, wait, PHP Storm is still indexing something. In. So fillable is array of the fields to fill, and it will be only one field city name. And with that, let's see the migration, whether it's generated. Yep, it's generated. So that all we need here is one field of name. Okay, and then we have a controller, which is in, no, we don't have it yet. Oh, we should have a controller created successfully. So, yep, city controller. Uh, that we will probably move into admin area. So let's create controller admin. Admin, then move city controller into admin folder. And with that, we should change the namespace as well. So admin. Uh, and also we need to add the controller here. So use controller, uh, this one. Okay, now we have a controller. For now it doesn't return anything, but uh, it should work like this. So cities, get all cities and then return view, admin cities index, I will call it with array of cities. And now let's take care of our views. So admin cities index, what will there be? Uh, in our views, we have resource views, layouts app blade, which is like the default layout for, for that whole structure. Uh, and from there, we have a page called home blade, which is like internal content of that. Let's copy the home blade into into what we need. So new folder, new directory, uh, admin. And then inside of admin, we will have right click, sorry, right click. We have a folder cities. And then we save file save as home blade into resources, views, admin, cities. 
and it will be our index blade PHP. Uh, so we open that and instead of dashboard we will have cities and then table. Uh, for now let's add this and we will test it out. So uh, city controller has admin cities index. Actually it should work uh, except for routes. We need to have routes here. So it will be route resource for uh, cities. And it will be cities controller, cities controllers. Uh, not only that, it will be admin cities controller. That actually, I don't remember. We will try it out. And with that, we will create a route group, route group uh, function, route group, which will be middleware by auth. So route middleware. So only for logged in users, auth. Uh, then we should have a prefix, prefix admin, which means that all the routes will be admin.cities.something. Uh, and admin name should be, that should be the prefix with a dot. And prefix here is for the routes, I think. Uh, no, that's for the URLs and that's for the route names. Let's try it out. Uh, so in our app blade on the top bar, let's add another link. So currently we have we have this link. So admin drop down with logout and let's add one more. So this one it should be li, and we will simplify that to another one. So nav item is based on Bootstrap. So it's pretty simple. Okay, class nav link. We don't need drop downs here. We don't need this one. And href will be route admin cities index. Um, probably we don't need any of these either. Uh, we need just cities. Cities. And that's it. Okay, let's refresh. Uh, yep, we have cities, and if we click, the URL is slash admin slash cities. We click, and fingers crossed. Admin cities controller doesn't exist, so the slash is wrong. Admin this cities controller does not exist. Uh, oh, cities, it's not cities, it's city, of course. That's, by the way, interesting thing. Uh, if we generate uh, make model city, uh, the controller automatically, this one, so controller automatically is generated with singular, not cities controller, but city controller. Right, refresh now. Uh, cities doesn't exist. We need to run migration now. And refresh again, and we should see empty page. So list of cities. Next, let's let's actually show the table of cities, which will be empty for now. But still, we need what's our index blade PHP, and instead of list of cities, we're actually showing the table. So table class table by Bootstrap, and then heading will be uh, name, and then column number two will be for buttons like edit and delete. So will be empty column and then we do for each or actually we do for else there is a command for those of you who don't know there's for else and then empty and and for else it allows to avoid if exists or if count so instead of doing if cities count doing for each we do for else you can google the command uh, it's pretty simple so for else cities as city we show the row city name and then there will be a button of edit for example so route admin cities edit with city id and it will be a button small for example, info with bootstrap. 
and empty if there is no city then we show one uh, one td with no records found something like that it should work let's refresh yeah we have empty table with name and no records found now above the table let's create uh, a link to add new oh sorry href route admin cities create add new let's put a class here as well button button small and primary let's put a few line breaks and here we have a button a link which will actually open the page which is empty for now so let's take care of that we have a create create method so return view admin cities create and that's it we don't need any parameters any any data to pass here so let's take our index file save as create blade which will also extend the same layouts app and the content will be different so add new city and this will be also different so the content here we'll have a form with method post action to route admin cities store then we need to add csrf csrf command uh, sorry this one is missing so what csrf this one and then let's add name of the city and input type name type text sorry uh, name name class form control a few line breaks and submit button input type submit value save um i guess that's it let's try it out so create yeah we have form maybe one line break too much uh, button button primary yeah okay so have a city name and then on store we need to have uh, city create request all for simplicity we use that and return redirect to route route uh, admin cities index right. okay and let's try it out name London cities edit edit undefined which is correct I've just forgotten there was a typo so this one edit there was a typo but the list pulls up well so add new London then we add New York for example so this thing is working now let's take care of edit edit is pretty simple as well uh, that will be this one return view admin cities edit compact city city will be taken from this parameter which is auto it's called resolving so by this parameter of id cities one edit uh, it will uh, find the record city with id one uh, now it doesn't find the edit view which also doesn't exist of course so we save as create blade and we edit that new one so for method post this is update and then we add a parameter of city id uh, we need also a thing called method field which is put that's laravel way of performing CRUD operation of update 
So method field put, and then we should enter value of that field, which is city name. Uh, and then edit city, of course the title, and we should be good to go. Refresh the page. Yep, we have London here, and let's perform the actual update in the controller. So here we have city update with request all. For now, I'm not doing any validation for simplicity. We will take care of that a little later in the lesson. Redirect route, uh, admin cities index. Cool. And let's edit London 2, for example. And there you go. In our table, we have updated records. Uh, final thing we need to take care of is deleting the records. And it's a little more complicated in the form here in the list, I mean, in the index, we will need to create a form. So form, sorry, form, then method is post, uh, action is route, admin cities destroy. Destroy, we also need the CSRF protection and we also need method field, which is in this case delete. Put is for updating the records and delete is for destroying the records. And we need the button here, uh, value delete. Uh, in line, we will have inline JavaScript to confirm are you sure. Probably the most uh, more correct way is to do that separately in JavaScript, but I will do that in line for simplicity. And let's add a class of button. It will be a small button. That will be a dangerous button, button danger class. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. Let's try it out in the form. How does it look? Uh, admin cities destroy, or there's no parameter, of course. We cannot call the destroy without a parameter. So which city do we want to destroy? <laughs> that sounds funny. Uh, city ID. Okay. Uh, delete. Are you sure? Cancel. No. Uh, then let's perform the actual destroying action. So we delete the city and then we redirect back as in other actions as well. So city and redirect. Let's delete New York. Okay. And yep, we have only London in our data.